That's a mini spider. It's a little itty bitty spider. Hi, spider. Hi, buddy. You look so cute. Yes, you do. Just, just hiding out under there. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap up the Night of the Missing Pets here and the other droppers that are happening. I wanted to take a little intermission to check out whatever those things were, those costumes and all that. So I got that down. All right, and there's just one final act over here. Act three. It's a very interesting concept. This looks very ominous and very bleak. Okay, well, let's see what's left inside of here. Mad Scientist's laboratory was just as difficult to navigate as a castle. Bottles, a, of, bottles and jars of strange green liquid sat on shelves and desks. Otherworldly tendrils poked out of the walls and mechanical spiders with human heads skittered across the floor. Zombie would destroy all of it if Emmy's body was harmed. Every last bottle and tube. Every table and chair. Zombie would even tear down the stone walls. And the mad scientist himself? He would rip apart like paper, shred him to pieces. First, those villagers killed his cat, and now his only friend stole her from him? No. Zombie would not stand for this. He ran through the laboratory, knocking things over as he went with the, mechanic, with the mechanical whirls of the mad scientist's machines droning in the distance. No doubt he was already performing experiments on Emmy, experiments that he was going to stop. The droning became loud as Zombie got closer. He heard laughter coming from behind a door frame. He rushed to the door, and what he saw made his jaw drop. In the center of the room, it was Emmy, hooked up to a machine, alive and purring, a greenish tint to her fur. Oh, no. Oh, no. So Emmy is being experimented on with all sorts of brains. Brains. All right. Brains are ooey-gooey. Ooey-ooey-gooey. Hold on. I feel like I can navigate this one. Yes, I can. A little bit more uh, tactfully, I should say. Now, what's the actual way to get around here? Somewhere through this area? It looks like trying to find a decent way. Yeah, it kind of looks like right here. Hold on. Yoink. Right here. Right there here. Right there here. Yep, 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 yep. Right here. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that exit way. Ouch. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt big time. That's going to hurt big time. All right, so I'm not seeing any any signs of that thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know the thing that I mean? Ooh, right here. You see this? You see that blue way down there? Right, right down there? What if I go right here? Right here? Right here? Through, through, through. Yep, yep, yep. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. Yep. There it is. Look at that. You may not be able to see it on your end with the video, but because I have a 4K monitor, I can see everything through uh, down toward this way, which is really, really cool, all right? The following nights, the villagers of Wheatburn knew no rest. Emmy let out blood-curdling shrieks into the night, and Zombie chased down any villager trying to find the noise. Even when she went alone, Zombie wasn't worried. <laughs> Emmy was invincible now. She was a zombie, just like him. All right. Well, there goes another spooky, creepy story there. Night of the Missing Pet has been completed, which just means there's one story remaining of this dropper done by... I forget what the name of the team is. I got to look this up after it's done here. But I have played a couple of their maps before, the Mecha Bots and all that. They're very, very well done. And I would have loved for this to obviously be a little bit longer. I forget how many mine coins it was. I think it was like... A couple hundred. It wasn't anything super, super in-depth. The Wicked Pumpkin Kid. Got this wicked big god of a pumpkin. You know what I mean, kid? The Wicked Pumpkin. Shouts and screams chased the Witch of Westwick back to her hut in the forest. The locals had caught on. She had been too careless flying on her broom, and now they knew she was a witch. Over her shoulder, she could see the bright fires of torches their light gleaming off the villagers' pitchforks and scythes. Her life near Westwick was over. She would have to set up somewhere else. But first, she had to deal with the peasants. Concoctions and potions raced through her head as she navigated her enchanted trees. 
An invisibility potion would do the trick, but she didn't have the right ingredients. She would have to improvise. Her cat was waiting at the doorstep, but she had no time to lose. She would only have a precious few minutes before the villagers would be at her door. Uh-oh. Oh, the pitchforks and the villagers and the everything. That was an easy one. And through the house I go. Yeah, these ones. Oh, I'm going through the witch's big old mouth. Gonna have to. Yeah, I want to take a look at all these once the mode is done. You know, creative mode, look through everything. Ah, oh, spider. You can't crush them, but they're here. You know, why don't we have little baby spiders like in Minecraft normally? A little, that would make a lot of sense, you know? Little, little bubbies. That would, that would be pretty, you know, fitting, I guess. Every second that passed, the shouts of the villagers grew louder. The witch raced around her hut, grabbing potions, roots, and flowers, and casting them into her cauldron. She didn't even know if what she was making would work. Her best hope was that it would grant her invisibility for just a short while, enough to be able to grab her most precious things and take off into the night. She grabbed the last of the ingredients and cast them into the cauldron. Pumpkin innards, chicken leg, and begonia stem, then stirred vigorously. The liquid inside the cauldron turned orange, blue, and then simmered down to a green. It was done. The witch grabbed a spoon and carefully poured the liquid into a glass. It was now or never. She downed the glass and gulped down every drop. It burned her throat and clogged it like she had swallowed ash. Her eyelids became heavy and droopy. Her body felt like it was made of metal. Something was wrong. She stumbled and knocked over the cauldron. Her mind turned to green and orange as if the only thing that existed was fire and flower stems. She could see a blazing sun burning over green grass fields, a young dandelion growing out of thick green leaves, green frogs jumping over a river tinged with streaks of orange rust, a large ripe pumpkin sitting in a vine-filled mud patch. They've done a great job at really visualizing everything before you end up going into the dropper. Oh, okay. Oh, into the bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. That's going to be a tough one. And there's also the little section over here, which this, this might be where the wisp is over here, over toward this way. That would make a lot of sense. All right. Back toward here. Oh, okay. Yeah, clearly this is meant for me to explore around this way. All right. And I can see, oh yeah, there's all sorts of mosaics on the walls here. Cool. Uh, you want to help me out here? Actually, yeah, I don't see it. All right, but yeah, you can tell there's a table, the cauldron and all that. Very nice. Through here, yep. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, I can't believe I did that in one shot, or two shots, rather. A little froggy. We got a pumpkin. Wow, I like that frog. That reminds me of the frog from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Little froggy. You know, the uh, big cat he goes after. Froggy. You know, that thing. Anyways, all right. Time to get on through. Uh, I like the inner cauldron here with this flower and the, the pumpkin there. Very, very cool. One final act remaining on the great pumpkin. Not quite Charlie Brown, but the wicked pumpkin, actually. These, uh, these stages are by far the least impressive, but I guess that's okay. Uh, when the witch finally escaped the madness of the potion, she tried to regain her bearings. A long scarecrow stood slanted off her to her right and all around her, she was surrounded by pumpkins. She had turned into a pumpkin herself. Aha, she thought. I did it. I tricked those nasty peasants. She laughed inside her head with a mirth that only wicked witches turned into pumpkins could have. She hadn't intended to turn herself into a pumpkin, but it did the job. Now all she had to do was wait until the spell wore off. Then she'd be able to go on her merry way. But the witch had forgotten one thing. It was harvesting season, and she was a very large, magnificently ripe pumpkin. So the witch waited and waited, and the spell didn't wear off. She's about to get picked. Uh-oh. Big witch get picked. There's the scarecrow. Oh, oh that was a delayed reaction. All right. How about this instead? All right. Through here. 
Thread the needle, thread the needle, and... Oh, you see the glass with the fireflies? Now fireflies did it right there. All right, avoid this. That was going to be bad. I need to go from the back left corner, right here. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Okay. I need to thread it a little bit better. Right here. I'm, I'm like, barely even hitting that button. It's just, like, letting me take things as they are. All right, how about this way instead? Through here, that's way too far. I'm not going to make it. Yeah, not going to make it. What about this? Way here, down. Nope. Oh, yeah, no way. Not a chance. Oh, it's like a dinner table. Okay. Like a, like a pumpkin pie sort of situation. Yeah, I'm not making it out of that one, especially with the crow. Not a chance. Spooky. Spooky. No. That is not the way to go. It always seems like there's a very specific way for me to go. And it looks like it's like right down through here. Ooh. You know, you kind of mess yourself up by getting into the right rhythm and then you find yourself in the wrong rhythm. Oh, what the pumpkin? The little pumpkin slice right there. Go right through here, right through here, and action. There it is. Look at that. All right, now I'm in, what, what is this, a nighttime? Oh, oh, did the pumpkin get bursted? Oh, that's kind of sad. Hold on. Now the witch of Westwick had finally disappeared, there was nothing on the mind of the farmers except their beautiful pumpkins. The pumpkin farmers of Westwick had a brilliant harvest that year. They had so many pumpkins that they were able to have pumpkin pie every night. The very first pumpkin they cut was such a beauty, they made a pie out of it for all the workers. Sat around the table, scraping off every last morsel from their plates, every farmer agreed that there was something unnaturally good about the harvest that year. Yeah, because it was a person. But that's messed up. Thanks for playing. The Dropper of Horrors bonus credits drop has been unlocked at the entrance of the theater. The bonus credits drop. Ooh, cool. So there's also another drop if you end up getting, I believe, all nine of the different outfit pieces. Now, I'm going to go into creative mode and take a look at where exactly they are to show you where they're at. Because as much as I want to explore and take all the time to do that, for the sake of showing you what it's like, I think it might be a little bit better, all right? To the credits tunnel. Nice. Nox Crew, of course, that is the name of the uh, team that is behind this, just like all many other great maps. Whoa, okay. What's that? Um, Speed boost? Or speed jump? Like a jumping boost? Okay. That's it? Really? Is that the idea? Hold on, wait. How do I show what my status effects are? I forget what it is. Tab? No, I forget. Oh, mamma mia. All right. I always forget. Anyways. All right. So there's a little bit of that. That's it? Oh, that's the Ecto-1. Oh, that's cool. All right. So there's that. And there's a welcome book there. Ooh, 3D glasses. Nice. Can I wear them? Does that do anything? Oh, that's not accurate at all. All right. So what I'm going to do is hop into creative and show you what these look like now that they're done. So you get actual... A uh, good idea of how this uh, mode is and if there's anything else you want to see about it, you know? So here's what the area looks like now. These things here, unlock the full outfit, then the door shall unlock. What door shall unlock? Over here? This, oh my goodness, it's a clown inside the sewer just like it. That would be it right there. All right. So let's take a look inside some of these and figure out what ones I'm missing or what can be done a little bit better, all right? So now, if I just bust through here, that is just a, a mechanism that removes all this. And then there you go. And then it magically appears right back there, right? So if I go through here, you can see the perspective as I'm floating down, right? You get that idea? So now, if I look level by level, I should be able to kind of see where the wisps are and I may end up looking for all of them. I'm not quite sure. But as part of this texture pack, I should be able to see, or rather the world map in general, I should be able to see where each of them are at some point here. Um, but yeah, just like even going through this in this way looks very beautiful. Like you still would not have been able to tell that all this is shifted in this way. 
And I don't know exactly how this is done. Is this done in the regular orientation and then they shift everything? Because that would probably make the most sense. It would take a lot of time to do it. But, or, I mean, they could have potentially just had it be all done, you know, in the normal way and then try to maintain that perspective the whole way through. It would have been very difficult for them to do so, but whatever. You can see that there is a orange block right here. So clearly you're supposed to drop like right onto here and then navigate somewhere to find the wisp, which I'm trying to find here, but clearly I cannot. So let's say I back all the way through, or it could be actually right over here. So drop right here as well to go through. Let's say I go right through this section here. This is, oh, it's just sand. Okay, sure, whatever. But you know, there was also the section, oh, it's like a camera, cool. The one where it was floating like right above our head, right? On top of that area, that's the one I'm looking for right now. Not this one, it's not inside the cave. What's outside of here? Nothing, okay, cool. Oh, you get to actually see what they all look like. So this is the outside area, that's pretty sweet. It's basically just a bunch of cylinders all the way through. And then there's cows. Interesting. How does this work? Pulse spark. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what the cows do, but all right. Um, let's take a look back inside of here. You can kind of see. Yep. So that's where the starting area is. Yeah, this right here, right? <laughs> That is so terrifying. All that, that laughing and stuff, ooh, sends uh, chills down the spine there. Uh-oh, Gonzo there, ouch. My bad, but not really, actually. Good luck, Where random invisible spooky hand thing or whatever. All right, so now I can bust all the way through here. And I'm actually just missing, I believe, one for this entire section. So if I go over to the third one... Right? Is it the third one? Which one? This. Which one was the one that I saw? Yeah, I think it's this one over here. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I can find any more of these. Yeah, this one right here. So how was I supposed to do this? Jump through. Oh, that's the thing that's laughing. There we go. Yeah, that is oh, oh, way too terrifying. Nope, I'm good. I'm not a big spooky game guy, but... Uh, you could probably tell that just based off of uh, me never playing Five Nights at Freddy's or Hello Neighbor or any of those. You know what I mean? Now I can get through here. And so this one, I wish there was a way for me to like see where they were. Unless I'm supposed to just listen to the sound of the children laughing, which is absolutely horrifically terrifying. But that might be what I need to do. Oh, right here. There's another one. Yeah, there we go. You unlock the full zombie outfit. All right. So let's see what that actually does. Can I wear the zombie outfit? And then there's also that other door, which I'm assuming leads to another area. But okay, there's that. Oh, I can wear it. Okay, that's interesting. If I do this, wear that, and then boom, wear that. Cool, now I'm a full on zombie, except I got the Bricks O'Brien O boots. Cool. So instead of doing all that, as much as I would love to do that, let's take a look and see where that other area is, all right? So there's this. This is a Nox Crew area over toward here, I'm assuming. Yes, it is. Cool. I love the depth of... Um, th this sort of depth, I want to implement it to more maps and, like, the Bob SMP and all that and, like, design it in a very cool and specific way. But, uh, yeah, you know, obviously not for right this second. But, yeah, very interesting and cool how they made all that happen. So there's where the Ecto-1 is right here. That's a really cool, interesting design for the Ecto-1 using the, what, wool or concrete and then these um, slabs underneath. Very, very interesting and cool nonetheless. So this area, I don't know what these cows are doing. It's so, so bizarre. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Is there a dropper underneath here? No. Okay. So three, three. There's no other dropper? It seems like there wasn't. Because they, they kind of, Oh, wait. Is this the dropper? Right here? Hold on. Let's take a look. 
Is this a secret one? Oh, it is a secret one. It's a credits one. It's a credits dropper. Oh. Wait, how do you get through here? Hold on, wait. Let me see if I can not cheat real quick. Let's say I go all the way through here, right? Oh, I'm coming right through. Look at this. Pretty cool. All right. Do I have to go one after another? One, two. That might be it. I don't know. Do all these? No. Or maybe I just need to have all the different outfits. I don't know. But regardless, I can pop through here. And then this looks super ominous and creepy. But yeah, these are the credits. Cool. Uh, we have Antilla. Yeah, all the different names of all the people that worked on the map, which is super cool. And also a dropper within itself. I like this a lot. And, you know, maybe it would have been better if it were in creative mode. So you could like, you know, appreciate all the people who worked on this for yourself and take your time with it. Kind of like the credits scrolling by. But that's very, very cool and a very nice tribute to the team who uh, made it happen. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, it takes you through Knox crew, but not the actual tunnel. Interesting. All right. So this has been a, a dropper by Knox crew. They did a, a great job with this. Why is the ladies room out of order? That's weird. Baby changing. Oh, the baby changing area. All right, cool. Toilet. That's actually good use of toilet paper. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. There's going to be more spooky Minecraft nonsense coming soon. But until then, shout out to Knox Crew for making the map happen. I'll see you again for more Halloween spooktacular things to come. All right. But until next time, meow it out and bye.